everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 7 of Butler's Chitose Momotose Monogatari, Butler's Ex Battlers. So, it is revealed, several things were revealed in this episode, actually, which I very much enjoyed, but especially the, you know, the, the real reveal about them all being butlers, or, you know, descendants of butlers, I was like, oh, kind of saw that coming from a mile away, wasn't really shocking, but I was like, yep. You're a butler, you're a butler, you're a butler. Is there any other butlers I need to know about? Or descendants of butlers <laughs> is basically how all that went. So, yeah, but we actually got more explanation on Tenya, the bloodline, the pendant, what it all does. And I'm like, thank you. It's about time travel and space distortions and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, it took you seven episodes to actually explain all that, and that's kind of annoying. I'm like, really? It took you this long? You could have done that earlier, but... Okay, so at least now we know. Um, and we do know that Tenda did die from it. She gave up her life for it. So it's like, dang, poor girl. <laughs> but, um, and she also sent um, uh, Jay and the other guy there to the time they're in because there's a person trying to do a thing and they need the butler power to, like, do the thing and stop the space distortion and stuff like that. So it's like, huh, interesting. And an owl talked that was a thing i was like what the freak why <laughs> and the guy's like oh it's probably a prophecy or something and i'm like okay that was weird that that kind of creeped me out i was like that owl is talking right now please stop <laughs> i mean i know owls are supposed to be called wise and stuff but chill <laughs> oh man but anyway so other than that there wasn't much to this episode i mean we had you know figuring out oh hotodo has the descendant power you know through the candies and the memory loss stuff and all that stuff, and I was like, yay, and then, you know, everyone else have, act have activated their little mark, wherever it is on the mark, so in the back of the neck, someone's on the ear, hand, you know, wherever else, and I'm just like, okay, cool. Again, didn't see that coming from a mile away, even though I totally did, I'm just like, yep, y'all are all descendants, no wonder, because I mean, I like how the chairman was just like, you know, there could be someone with the bloodline power uh, right next to you, Jay, <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. We kind of already figured out that one of them is. I'm like, why aren't they all? And I'm like, oh, they all are. Even the guy who's like Dracula, who acts like Dracula is. And I'm like, really? Him too? Like, what? Like, really? Like, why don't we all just be descendants of the butler bloodline at this point? Like, you know, when you think about it, what if the... No, the chairman can't be because if he was, then the bracelet would have activated on Jay. So, never mind. That would have been really weird too. Though they could still do the plot twist, but I highly doubt it now at this point. But, um, but, uh, yeah, there's not much else to this episode, really. It's like, we had reveals, we had things to explain, finally, and I'm like, thank you. Because I needed explanations for stuff. And that's all I gotta say about this episode. So what'd you guys think of this episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I view next. Bye!